hi and welcome this is my video mixer i decided to document and also share so here you go you can download it in the description uh, it's done in touch designer so you're also going to need touch designer so i'll also leave a link to where you can download touch designer if you're new to it but um, right after that you can just get this file and get started there's also a folder of clips that I'm going to share, like 24 clips that I made over the years and used in my DJ mixes. And there's 24, so um, you can see there's actually 32 bank banks here. So, so I'm going to tell you what the rest of these do and what you can do with the 24. So when you fire up the file, you should see something like this. Mm, you got the clip banks here, so all of the folders videos are on each side. Then in the middle you got blending modes, and then you got some faders here for each channel. So this is channel one and this is channel two. Um, but let's get started by choosing the source folder. So if you downloaded my my video folder, you can find it find it on your computer from here. So it might be on your desktop or something. Uh, I have it over here, so I'm gonna go into it and choose that folder. Then I gotta hit refresh to actually access the videos inside. So over here you see channel one. Um, channel one. preview and channel 2 preview and over here you get the final output preview so if I change the clip here say clip 2 um, I think I'm in additive blending mode so it's gonna add these on top of each other and then I could just fade uh, channel 1 out it leaves channel 2 in, and if I fade channel 2 out, there's black. So basically I could crossfade between these um, videos using these faders. And this is a prototype. You might wonder why I didn't have um, just one crossfader for... Um, for these clips, well, I'm kind of testing this out, and I've been I've been using this for a while now, and mixing like this has been all right. I like I like to uh, overlay videos on top of each other, so I might change this later. I don't know. However, um, if I change the clips, I could test out the blending modes so i got brightest which is a bit different than additive so i can't really see the difference now there's darker and there's glow i like to use this one there's luma uh, minimum overlay and then there's switch which does what it says it switches around these two layers and changes the behavior of the blending mode a bit with that so for example in glow blending mode you can see the difference um, if you got the APC 40 MIDI controller you can use it with this um, I might make a tutorial about it it's still uh, i need to work on it some more maybe but anyways you can just hook it up and use use this mixer with that as well if you got the apc 40 so then then you got get access to for example a lot um faster mixing of videos as well apc 
No, not APC40. I was talking about APC40, but I meant APC Mini. The Akai APC Mini MIDI controller. It's been serving me well for the past few years. Okay. So... That's the mixer part of it. You also got the FPS here, so you can see if your system is lagging. Uh, of course, if you got the non-commercial version of Touch Designer, it, the resolution is limited to 2080 by 20, um, sorry, 1280 by 1280. So it should be reasonably fast on even slower computers. And then over here, you got the window output. So if you got a projector hooked up, you can just Click here and it should open a, a extra window for your projector. And then you can close it by hitting close here. And then under here, you got the record buttons. So what these do, they record the um, output preview, or actually the output yeah, is recorded into these banks, which are then uh, um, saved into the folder uh, till the very end, uh, based on how you have named your clips. So uh, I use this Japanese character to make mark the um, mark these clips to make them fall fall in line and be at the end of the folder list. So, for example, if I want to record this output, I can just hit record one and it's going to stay red while it's recording. And then I can quit recording by pressing it again. And now I should refresh. And let's see, clip 25 should be, yeah, it's the, um, it's the output recorded. So there's, there's the, um, mixed video recorded in the bank so that's that's the um, idea in this mixer so you could combine videos and save them as new videos on the fly so while performing you can make new content based on the clips you have and then there's bank two so for example if we choose this clip and mix it with um let's say brightest mm, blending mode maybe switch it around yeah then we could hit record on bank two Maybe fade out this video. Okay, and stop recording. And now this video should be in clip 26. Yeah, and there it is. We can see it's recorded. And then we could go on adding layers on this video and hit record three stop recording and let's see it should be in clip 27 yeah I didn't even have to press refresh but it's a good um, procedure to press that so you get an update on the clips. Okay, so that's how it works. There's there's these banks that you can record on. And while doing a live show, this can be a lot of help, a lot of use. You can get a lot of new content by using this. Okay, then after this, there's the master effects section where you can uh, control the color for example, for for this main output, so you can take out the red colors, green colors, and blue, or just leave green and red. And you can also adjust the feedback level. 
So you can add some feedback effect. And you can insert some strobing, automatic strobing level. Frequency is set here. And if you want to do manual strobing by clicking, you can click this button. Okay, cool. Then you also got the, if I turn these up, then we got the um, RGB values for the individual layers, uh, channels. So, for example, if I want to get rid of the reds in the first channel, and get rid of the greens in the second channel, I get this pink green effect, which is pretty nice. And then I could also record this, record four. Add some feedback maybe. Stop recording. Let's see where it went. Hit refresh and it's clip 28. Yeah. I can resume my colors. And I got this nice mix um, composite video out. And I got some extra effects here. Uh, I call this one trip since it trips through these different color values and creates these nice effects. I could also save this to Rec 5. Let's see. Hit refresh and uh, maybe it, yeah it's 29 now like it mixed 28 and 29 okay take trip off pretty nice and again I could build up on this take take some of the feedback off maybe Use additive shader and record this to six. Stop recording, refresh. It should be in 30. Yeah, there it is. And add these layers together. And then there's the pixel sorting, uh, pixel sorting effect by original by D Braun. I'm gonna add a link to their GitHub page. Uh, if I click this on, I get this nice GLSL based pixel sorting effect. So that's really powerful and. And I could also record this one to say back seven. And you can always uh, record on top of these, of course. Um, if you recorded something, you can just re record it. So, part of the inspiration came from Tim Exile and his flow machine for this. Um, I, I love Tim's work. Okay, so that's there. Let's refresh. Uh, let's see, clip 31. Yeah, there it is. So we could trip and pixel sort at the same time as well. It gets a bit trippy. Nice. Okay, so that's how it works. I hope you enjoy this.
mixer and build upon it. I, I really hope you do. And if you build upon it and make something with it, just drop me a line, send me a message, and uh, let me see what you got. I'm real interested where this this might go. Okay, thanks.